In the last couple of months, we've seen a tremendous rebound for the chairs of Massimo Corporation. It's the medical technology play that's best known for its pulse oximetry. I used it during the pandemic and remote patient monitoring systems. This stock got a big boost during the COVID era. Then it plummeted early last year as the world went back to normal, in part simply because it was a high multiple stock and in part because the company announced an acquisition of a consumer technology company that the market didn't care for. Since then, we've gotten a series of strong results paired with conservative forecasts, including the most recent quarter in November, where Massimo reported tremendous sales and earnings while giving us a very, very weak outlook. So the stock fell 10% in response to a, new, to a new 52-week low, even though the number was good. Then it bottomed. Since the November lows, Massimo has come roaring back. It's run from 108 and change to 156 in just a couple of months. Some of that's because they held a bullish investor day. And it also doesn't hurt that they just won an International Trade Commission judgment uh, versus Apple yesterday, although there are plenty of tussles with Apple ahead. Can it keep climbing? Let's check, che- let's check in with Joe Chiani. He's the founder, chairman, CEO of Massimo to get a better read of business and where it's headed. Mr. Chiani, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks for having me, Jim. Good to see you. Okay, so Joe, I, let's catch up because during the pandemic, you were the gold standard. I know that people like I used your uh, pulse oximetry was uh, everyone thought the best. You go into a hospital and there was all your equipment to be able to make it so that the doctors didn't have to go in. If there were the nurses didn't have to go check, you certainly lessened the likelihood of catching COVID. I'll catch us up since then because you've been making some very big moves. Thank you. I first of all, we were there when people needed us. Our technology made a difference. A study just came out that said when people used our technology to send people home to remotely monitor them for COVID, they reduced mortality by 70 percent and saved over $11,000 a patient. That, along with the market telling us we're the only thing real out there for telehealth, telemonitoring and consumers, led us to go more aggressive towards the personal health and the health sector that we see at home. Um, And with it, we've just introduced this product I'm wearing called W1, which is the first unobtrusive, wearable, continuous pulse oximeter, which we hope will save countless lives and help people get in better shape. Now, let's talk about some of the other things, because I think you've got, uh, I once had to do a sleep study. Joe, $20,000 to do exactly what yours does, okay? $20,000 not covered by insurance. Uh, Some of the hearing things you're doing, fortunes, and yours are much lower prices. Talk about those because they're breakthrough and insurance companies are not helping where you're getting the job done. Absolutely. At the investor day, we gave a peek of of what's coming. First of all, we have a product coming called Stork that will be used for babies when they come home at risk of sudden infant death syndrome. About 5,000 babies die every year from this. And now this is the first accurate continuous monitor for pulse oximetry along with temperature and camera that parents can use. Secondly, we are very, very interested in improving people's listening and hearing by acquiring Bowers and Wilkins, Marantz, then and these incredible audio brands combining it with our adaptive acoustic technology. We have a technology now that allows earbuds and headphones to send a signal automatically to your ear canal, know which frequencies you have lost hearing or need more help with, and enhance those particular frequencies so you can listen better and eventually you can hear better. We plan to have an OTC plan for just better listening environment and eventually go through the FDA for a product that helps people hear better. That's about a $50 billion market that we hope to address. Also with the wearable that I just spoke with, the first of its kind, that not only does continuous and accurate pulse oximetry, but measures the hydration index. That's another $50 billion market. So we're about to go from a TAM of 10 billion to over $170 billion TAM by entering this new consumer health sector. And that's total adjustable market people. Okay, so I've got my Apple Watch, 
and I've got your watch here. And look, there's some great features to it, no doubt. But look, I've always said to people, listen, own Apple stock, don't trade it. And that's because I'm quite enamored of every product they come out. It's great technology. All those other markets that you just mentioned to me, there really is anyone even can touch you. Why go against these guys on this business? Joe, they're a big company, a lot of resources, and very good at what they do. Well, Apple's good at taking other people's innovations and repackaging them. Oh, We're good at innovating on, and making Joe. things that no one has made before. No, I mean it. It's not just Massimo. A live core had a similar situation. A tile. I mean, you, the, the list is long, and I don't want no to get into calling. it right now. But no name calling. Let's talk about right. the advantages right, you have versus Apple. And vice. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just stating the facts. And let me tell you now, I'll give you another fact. We've studied our watch versus their watch with Paul Sox. And even though we just won the ITC case against them at the first step of a couple of steps to go, we did a DSAT study where we brought in volunteers and we had them desaturate. They missed 94% of the desaturation events. And the 6% of the time they measured, their accuracy was 4.5%. We caught 100% of those events and our accuracy was better than 2%. So there's a huge difference. This is a bigger delta than we had when we entered the Pulse Ox space, which now we're the leader of, monitoring 200 million people a year worldwide in hospitals. Our delta is bigger. And Jim, there's a third of our population that have chronic illnesses where they need something real, something serious that they can rely on for their help. Fair enough. Well, look, we're going to leave it at that. I've got my Apple. I'm not going to necessarily change my view. I like the fact that Joe's trying to innovate and help more people's lives. And we're always in favor of that. And everything that he's done is the right, is done with the right thing in mind, personal health and taking control of it. I want to thank Joe Kiana. He is the CEO of Massimo Corp, M-A-S-I. We've used his products during the pandemic. And now he's back with a whole set of new ones. Joe, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Jim. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. We have money's back after the break.